The natural beauty of Kaneohe Bay belies the trouble that lurks beneath its surface. Here, the Nature Conservancy and the state are working to free the bay's reefs from the suffocating grip of invasive algae. Using large underwater vacuums called super suckers, crews are removing up to 2,000 pounds of invasive algae an hour. For Kaneohe Bay, the super suckers are a game changer. The difference between returning its coral reefs to health or watching them slowly succumb to the chokehold of invasive algae. Kaneohe Bay once had some of the highest numbers and greatest diversity of reef fish and coral on Oahu. Today, these populations have plummeted, in part due to two aggressive strains of invasive algae that smother and kill the coral reefs. These two algal species that we're most concerned about are really as bad as it gets just about anywhere in the world in terms of marine invasive species. They basically just chop the coral reef community off at the knees and can really devastate what should be healthy, thriving, vibrant reef uh, environments. Invasive algae were introduced into the bay for aquaculture more than 30 years ago. Effective natural barriers have kept the algae from spreading south, but to the north, only the super suckers stand in the way of its spreading to the reef that goes up the entire windward coast. This algae got brought in decades ago, so it's had all that time to basically spread all the way across the bay. So if we don't knock it back now, it'll only continue to kill the coral that's already here. And then the other danger is that it'll escape outside of the bay. Frankly, right now, it's expensive to control algae within Kaneohe Bay, but it's doable. If it gets outside of the bay and established at multiple portions around Oahu, there's, it's not going to be feasible to, to remove it. So this is basically our best and only chance to stop this from, from really doing a number on all of Oahu's reefs. The strategy is to use both super suckers to stop the northward spread and work backward removing algae toward the southern end of the bay. Once the algae are removed, the reefs are seeded with native sea urchins, which eat the algae and keep it from growing back. The goal is to clear the entire north end of the bay of the worst invasive algae by 2015. Kaneohe Bay provides so much to so many people. You look out here and it's just beautiful. And hundreds of people use the bay every day. But I think most of us don't understand what's going on underneath the bay, that there's a problem here. The good news is that we know how to fix the bay, and we really just need to work together to do that. The Nature Conservancy's vision is a healthy, vibrant, sustainable Kaneohe Bay. But to achieve this, we need your support. Coral reefs take thousands of years to build, but only decades to destroy. The Nature Conservancy urges you to dip in your paddle and join the effort. With your kokua, we can restore Kaneohe Bay and protect its marvelous marine life for generations to come. <laughs>